Hello YouTube, I'm Gigi Alive and welcome to my channel. I am, hey Louise, how you doing? Hey Louise, can you just tell my YouTube viewers real quick who you are, what you do? This is one of the great resellers, he's here all the time. So dedicated and so sweet. What what do you do? I'm a reseller at Thrifty in the Cypress, Houston area. And what do you, and what do you, what's your favorite things to resell? Vintage tees, any Houston pieces, and any local girls I can find to hook up my people. Okay, and so where 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 is it that you um, find, like what what's one of your top things that you sell? Uh, band tees, rocket tees, like jerseys. I love for my jerseys too, I sell a lot of jerseys. Okay, and are you, can you give us your handle so we can locate you if we need to get yeah, anything? BTG HTX on Instagram, vintage. B HTX, yeah. Vintage HTX, so like Houston, Texas, HTX yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. And are you on anything like Poshmark, Macari, or eBay? Yeah, I'm on I'm on uh, Poshmark, Macari. What's your handle on there? Same, VTG HTX, yeah. Okay, we're going to check you out, Luis. Appreciate Take you. care. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Have a good day. Okay, you too. So I'm back at the Goodwill, Goodwill Benz on um, Fry Road at 529. And I'm just going to do a quick video. I want to just say that one of the things that you should really try to do when you come is wear gloves. As you see, my friend, he had a mask on. It's good because it gets dusty besides coronavirus. It also gets dusty. And then I bring my own bags. And you always have your money and things in a either backpack or I prefer to have it like right on me. And I keep my phone in here too so I don't lose it. So this is how I try to... You see it's a little side bag, a little crossover bag. So I bring my own bags and I have my money and stuff in here. Some people do like to steal, so you have to be careful. They actually open up about seven o'clock, but it's about nine now. So I'm going in and see what we can find at the Good Little Benz. Of course, I'd love to look for formal wear because right now I'm featuring a lot of formal wear. So what I do is I just grab what I can grab that's formal immediately, throw it in a basket. I hope that's not somebody's basket I just took there. I just throw it in a basket and then I go and look through it later. But right now I'm just grabbing what I can see that looks like it's formal wear. Sometimes you find little cute little trinkets. Hope this isn't anybody's basket. <laughs> it's good to have one hand free for just touching the things that are going to be in the bins because you never know what you're going to find. Sometimes you'll find something that is not in clean condition. Look at this. Look at that. Beautiful gown. Like it's a bridesmaid's dress. It's got chiffon sleeves. Really cute. I'm definitely taking that. Remember, they weigh everything here. So whatever you get, you have to weigh it. So I try to do light items. If I'm doing floral, if I'm doing um, formal wear, still I try to get light items. But every now and then I'll see a wedding gown and I have to get it. So if I see a wedding gown, I'm looking for it. I'm, I'm down for it. I'm going to get that wedding gown. So, oh, I like your Cheech and Chong. Your Cheech and Chong. Oh my God. Let me see. Hi. Oh, oh, I'm on my YouTube channel right now. Right. What's your name? Uh, Arthur. Arthur. Yeah. And what is your handle? Uh, on your, are you on YouTube Houston or on Instagram? The crew. Wait, I'm sorry. Say again. Houston underscore the crew. Houston underscore the crew. Are you yeah. on Poshmark or, or just on? Um... Uh, just vintage shops, like pop up shops. Okay. Yeah. You don't do any Poshmarking? No. Right. Okay. All right. Well, good, good, <laughs> um, goodwill hunting with you. <laughs> Try to meet a lot of people when you come here because. They're all, everyone's looking for different things. Some people are looking for, like they're looking for t-shirts. I'm looking for formal wear. So if I find a t-shirt that they might like, I'll give it to them and say, hey, this is, is this sellable? And plus I learned a lot from them because they may sell things that I wouldn't even think about selling. And there's like a lot of different collectors out there who are looking for certain kind of t-shirts. And so lots of people will end up begin your friends from um, coming out here and reselling because it's a business. You know, when you look at it as a business, you think, to, oh, this is cute. You're not only having fun, but I mean, I'm not an alcohol drinker like this, but I just think it's so cute. Maybe it'll sell too. I love anything that's blingy. <laughs> I love blingy stuff. Bling, 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 bling. Give me a bling any day. But um, yeah, so basically when you look at it as a business and you think of it as, you know, networking, it's a lot of people out here that 
know their stuff and they actually can help you because they're gonna give you more information and it's like educating yourself on different kinds of brands different things that are sellable what you should get what you shouldn't get what what you're wasting your time you know even looking at so it's really looks comfortable it's lightweight so i might get it just I mean, I never heard of the brand, actually, <laughs> but it just like a comfortable nightshirt. Things that are lightweight, like nightshirts or lingerie or ties, they're like gonna cost very little because everything is weighed here. Oh, look, I think I found another formal something. I don't know what this is, nah. When I see the shoulder pads, I think 90s, but you know what, vintage stuff is coming back. So can't say that, oh, I have this, I think, at home. Nah, mine's just different. I like a dress, I have a jumpsuit. <laughs> so keeping my eyes open for formal wear like wedding gowns <sighs> want a wedding gown and a lot of people don't want to get wedding gowns because they're heavy okay this looks like it might be a wedding gown can i grab this gown thank you yeah and i think i'm right i think it is a wedding gown let's look and see i love when it's flipped like this because you can't see what's on the inside even though it's a little bit dirty i can actually clean it with some um i can clean it with oh yeah it is a little dirty but i can clean it if i have some baking soda oh yeah oh my god oh yes i can tell the detail already i'm getting so excited it does have some dirt it has some stains it has some stains but this is a great find i don't even know who the tell me it's david's bridal michelangelo oh my god so it's got some stains i don't see any rips or tears though which is great because it's hard to repair this kind of material if it's ripped but it just has a few stains that means i can get out my stain cleaner and i can yeah this is so worth me coming out for yes I'm so excited just what I was looking for and I found it right away. I don't have to like stay, but I'm, I'm so, I'm, I give myself an hour when I'm here, but I'm so excited, so excited. I'm overjoyed right now. Yes. I mean, these little bits of stains, we're gonna fix it up and get it beautiful. Get it nice. I might even, I mean, there's a thing called dry L that you can clean it with. Instead of taking it to a dry cleaner, you can kind of do a dry cleaning at home. Because dry cleaners will cost, it'll cost a lot to just spot, spot clean this. And that's all you're going to do is spot clean it. So I'd like to stuff it in here really good so um, no one else can see it. And then I'll get something and throw over it. Because I don't want someone trying to steal it while I'm looking in the bin. Because that is a great find for me. A lot of people are getting hype about this um, wedding dress finds that you can find here. Which is great, but when I find one, i got to grab it. So excited already that quick i just stepped in here and i got something that quick i mean i haven't even been here for 30 minutes that's what i'm talking about you never know you never know what you're gonna find so excited yes just so exciting just like they get excited when they find t-shirts i get excited when i find oh they got some leather sofas over there okay they're getting ready to flip this one so that's our manager right there he's awesome so they're getting ready to flip this so they're taking all this stuff it's going to go back when it goes back there, never see it again. It'll be shipped out to um, another charitable place that needs this. There's Dre, another one of our great managers. Hey, Dre. How you doing? I'm doing good. so happy about me I literally could leave right now just getting that I am so happy like my hands are literally oh I broke my nail digging in a bin but my hands are literally shaking because I'm so excited I just got to get home and clean that I just want to go clean it but then I want to see what they're going to bring out next it's so exciting because they bring out some more they bring out some more good um gowns I mean I can have a <sighs> I'm excited okay calm down Dindu. let's talk about let's talk about real quick what we do here Okay, so this is how you sell. Everything that is up to 50 pounds is $2.19 a pound. And then they also have things that like are pictures, homeware stuff, 
electronics and they're sold separately. Um, like if you have big TVs or whatever, they might sell that separately. Um, like I've got a ottoman here for like $5. I've gotten a chair and an ottoman. I'll have to put that on my, I'll have to do a whole video about things I've gotten furniture wise that has been like $5. So there's some furniture over here, as you see. Oh, I see a wedding dress, I think, or something white. It might not be a wedding dress, so I might be wrong. I gotta get over here and dig in. So I want you to stand behind the red line when they say go, then you can start digging. So we don't dig until they say dig. Be respectful of everyone that's here. Very important. It's like a bridesmaid's dress is there or something. When Andre says go, then we're gonna get the last one in there. See how respectful everyone is here? We got our police officer down there, making sure everybody stays in line. Okay. We're getting ready to flip. This is what it's like to flip at the Goodwill Bins Outlet Store, 529 and Fry Road. Here we go. Sorry. First thing I'm going for is anything that looks like it's fancy. Oh, this could be sold at like a, that's cute though, but I'm not going for that. Thinking about tomorrow, don't stop me feeling. I found a wedding dress already and I'm ready to go because I could sell that for $500. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like so happy. <laughs> hey, Miss Lady, how are you doing? You're back again? Finding, finding a cute little thing that's pretty new could give us a gift, but it's broken. Okay. So I didn't really see anything that was like standing out as far as like a dress. I found a woman dress that was like that. Yes, you need it, you're like, here now. I'm gonna sell that for like $500. What's this right here? books. I look for American Girl books. I look for hardback books. Hardback books are really good. So I'm not going to go because they're getting, I don't see anything that's like standing out that's going to be um, formal wear and I got my prom, I got my wedding dress. <laughs> I think I got a prom dress too so I'm actually really good right now and I'm going to just check around and look at these books. I'm looking for American Girl books. They sell good and I can sell them as a bundle and knock those out really fast. And then hardback books, I'm looking for those. This is Lovely Bone, that's a good book too. I, and Dragonfly, those are books that have been made into movies, so people like to collect those. And then you find things like DVDs that are brand new, and I love this movie, it's one of my favorite movies. Oh my God, I love this movie. And my dad just said, I might just get it because it's brand new, my dad still has a DVD player, so. Okay, so I think I'm almost done really, but I'm gonna go and dig through this bin and look at books and try to find 
some good books because like I said they're three three four dollar and a lot of them are hardback and I often do find I often do find some American Girl books in here so I'm about to do some digging in here and see what I can find so again I'm Gigi Alive Check me out on Poshmark. I'm getting ready to start doing some eBay. Also check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Gigi Alive Reseller. Or Gigi Alive Ginger Smith. Ginger Smith 129. Those are my handles. Check me out. And all these items that are going to be for sale on Poshmark. If you like something, go ahead and like it and I'll give you $5 off. So go ahead and um, check out my Poshmark closet. And leave me a comment saying that you saw my video and I will be giving you a five dollar off discount on anything that you like okay make sure you comment share subscribe like and this is 529 Rye Road good little outlet things have a good day remember recycle repurpose recycle repurpose and resell <laughs> Gigi Alive. Like, share, subscribe. Bye.